Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back to Vinny Vidi Vici. We are at war with the Auto Man. He's got a lot of loans. I'm hoping I can force a uh, something funky on him. So we're going to probably just barrage this port here. If I had the mill points, I would do it. Let's send our cannons in though. We can handle that. We're gaining manpower, which is good. Um, my intention is to, ooh. I don't know why you guys you guys should attack. Russian Crusade against Great Horde. Interesting. You guys allied to Russia? They are. These guys are allied to Russia. That is disgusting. And Sweden? Commonwealth hug box. That's a juicy Commonwealth though, I'll tell you that. So they're heading over here. This is fine. Uh this frees up some time for me to get these guys worked on worked over over here. This is fine. They're also taking a bunch of attrition over here because they're stupid. We're taking a bit, but I'm not as concerned about us losing attrition. Us losing men to attrition as I am about them. Them losing men to attrition is a big one. So I'm not going to put my general in there. Uh, yeah, for sure. So tax modifier for 10 nobility. So for five years, it's fine. Let's siege this all down. Come on, there we go. Let's see if we can keep them locked over on the other side of the strait. Um, okay, or not. This is fine. So we want to siege this down as quickly as humanly possible. Hopefully they do not come at me. If we can blockade the strait and Greece is completely ours, then we're good. Um, we need to make sure we are scorching these earth provinces. Scorching the provinces, rather. Uh, that's fine. I'll take the prestige. We're going to need it. This is fine. You guys can do that. And they're attacking me here. I will reinforce. They're reinforcing as well. Um... Yep, yeah, they're gonna reinforce too many men. Damn it, man. They lost almost 20,000 men. Why am I fleeing here? Paradox, please. Please, Shattered Retreat is so broken. It doesn't even make sense, man. It does not even make sense. That's fine. So we're at negative 13, even though we're positive right now. So, once we get the war goal, we'll be good. I can't really believe that fight, though. That seemed a little broken. Let's get you guys grouped up. I need these guys to be... So, they're just kind of swiveling back and forth. Their war exhaustion is going up. They're, uh... They haven't taken out any extra loans, but let's take a look at where they're at. So, they still have, you know, a casual 93,000 manpower. Force limit of 166,000 men. But we'll do our best here. Are we at our force limit currently? Roughly, yeah. Luckily, our manpower issue is not really an issue. Look at this. Look at this. Very casual. Just walking around with 50,000 men on one, one stack right here. Let's just march around. This is not worth the hassle. This is not worth it. You guys better be making progress over here. I swear. Yeah, I'll take the money. Thank you pay off some loans that way we are not losing money monthly I wish they would like take a good take a give a good fight to me very good very good let's head up there see if we can bait them into attacking me just kidding they don't want to and now they're heading over there they can keep doing this all they want, but uh, it's not going to go well for them. So let's see where this 23 stack wants to go. If they will, if they leave to head over to Anatolia, then we're good. 28%. He didn't take it. Very good. He's now gaining more exhaustion. So I think a 1 to 1 we win. Let's take a look here. What do we need for this one? 47,000 men. So we just need one more man. 
all neighboring countries have a smaller army. So let's take a look here. Is does that include France? I'm assuming. That's kind of they're the one that is uh. No. Oh, Austria. Austria's got 85,000 men. Well, I can't hang with that. Do we border them directly? We do not. Oh, we do. Damn it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's bad. Um, anyways. Let's put, um... You on here. Let's have you on here. This is fine. Uh, they they can have that fight. We will reinforce. They're gonna reinforce as well. I think we win anyways. It's close, but they are shattering. We are shattering. They're shattering. We're shattering. Both of us. Okay, that was way closer than it needed to be. We're gonna end up having to slack in recruiting standards probably. Matter of fact, let's take a look here. We're ahead on tech, so let's do these dev clicks here. So the reason why we're doing this, for those of you who don't know, is we need to dev up our capital region. So there we go, we have exactly 100 dev. Now we need 12 manufacturers and more income, and then we will get goods produced and admin efficiency. But for now, let's go to local manpower, and uh, we'll click this button to slacken our recruiting standards, and there we go. So Ottoman's manpower is literally not moving. <laughs> Hasn't gone down yet, but uh, their war exhaustion is going up. Let's take a look at their loans. Any more loans? They've taken out another loan. This is wonderful. Uh, they are bringing their men back, though. Which is... Okay, the Mamluks are on medium enthusiasm now. I really need to try to uh, pick some good fights over here in defensive terrain. So that's what I'm going to do. Come over here. See, these guys have this... Wait, what? No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you. Oh, they're attacking me now. They're actually attacking me. Ay, ay, ay. If they can reinforce... Okay, they fled. We're good. No, I don't want that. Let's um, see if we can catch these guys over there. This is great. Uh, I think we don't win that. Not even, chan not even a chance. Just kidding. Maybe we do. Maybe we switch to a mill guy. We don't have a mill guy. Damn it, man. Yeah, we're shattering. Oh, this is infuriating. This is so infuriating. They're so broken. 34 loans. Maybe they'll go bankrupt soon. We'll see. Their war exhaustion is going up, which is the major thing. As their war exhaustion continues to grow, we will continue to get stronger in this war. Uh, the Mamluks are over here, sieging down stuff, beating up on them, which is great. That's kind of best case scenario, honestly. So, let's, um, let's see here. Let's get you guys over there and get you guys over here with our other dude. Well, let's just lick our wounds and hang tight for a little bit, okay? Um, these guys are so strong. And it's weird because, you know, everybody in the comments is like, Have you guys noticed that the Ottomans don't do so good in your campaigns? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you actually talking about? <laughs> no, no, no. They're, they're still probably the strongest nation in the game, guys. The patch is out for like a day and a half and people are like, Yo, did you guys see how bad the Ottomans are now? I'm like, nope, I didn't. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Berg. France. Hmm. 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 Stuart, interesting. Old Alliance reversed, anybody? All right, cool. Well, let's just uh, head up this way here. I will avoid the auto blob if I can. I will just pay the money. I am not going to worry about that. We lost that, but they took this one. Isel, very good. All right, so. If these guys peace out, though, it's that's a big deal. It's a really big deal, actually. What are they looking like in this war? Let's uh, score comparison. So they've taken out another loan. I really don't know at what point they'll go bankrupt. These guys are doing okay. I definitely said to go around there. So let's go around here. Let's head on down this way. 
they can come over there and do this. This is fine. Um, uh, this is probably not a good fight. Or maybe it is. Actually. There you go. So, we do need to get some men over here to occupy this fort. As well. Very good. We'll take this one here. So, the Ottomans are at four. Ay, ay, ay. We just want to force them to take as many loans as possible. That's that's actually like the main thing. So we're gonna have you guys with our air, with our four siege air, come on over here. We're gonna barrage this and hopefully take it very quickly. Wonderful. We're gonna head down to Constantinople, barrage it, hopefully take it as quickly as possible. This is important. They have a lot, all their men over here right now, so. The sooner we can take it, the better. This is very important. Let's actually just put all of our men on it right now. 28% chance. Our siege ability is very good right now. Yes, that's huge. That is huge. So. As long as we maintain naval superiority over here, they cannot get onto Greece anymore. Unless they march all the way around, which they might, but I don't think it's going to happen. This is huge. Taking Constantinople is a big one. There we go. And we need to make our way over to uh, Corfu, which we will, obviously. But yeah, they can't cross the strait now. We control one side and have it blockaded. That's a win. That's a major win. They have their galley fleet over here, so I need to be aware of that. good let's make our way over here as well with our uh, let's not have our king on that that doesn't seem smart let's have you guys on here this is great now they can peace out I don't care about them anymore except for the Navy I kind of want their Navy but Check this out. As soon as we take this, we're going to get another 25% war score, which is huge. They lost, We lost Crimea, so they're coming up here in the north. Their war exhaustion is skyrocketing. Their loans are... They're at 35 loans now, which is great. Let's head on over here with our siege guy. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, that's our king. What am I doing? So, we'll actually just send our heir over there. That's fine. We need to get on to Corfu. It would be pretty great if he would uh, give me that siege. Oh, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's... Hmm. Let's leave behind like eight galleys just in case they want to try to get frisky. Okay, so we won that one. It's good. Let's get a monthly repair tick. Very good. Come on out here. Same thing. We'll do something like this. Leave some behind. So those guys are now locked in there. Great. Let's get over here. Once we take this, we get 25. Plus his, his war exhaustion is going to be stacking up here. Mamluks are going to peace out pretty soon, I reckon. This is totally fine with me. We got a disease outbreak. All right, printing press is here. Nice thing about the printing press, being a Protestant nation, you get quite a bit. You get it basically for free, so we'll end up getting it quite soon. Uh, so we have, as far as dev goes, we're at 31, 21, 23, and 25. Very good. Our manpower is looking good. Let's switch over to trade, which will give us more money, which we need to fund our war. Uh, I'll just do that. It's fine. Kandadiari from Austria. I think I'm okay. Wait, how'd they get on Constantinople? Nani? Alright, Mamluk's pieced out. That's fine. As long as these guys don't take Constantinople, I don't really care, honestly. Let's get you guys out here. Somehow, these guys are just holding on for dear life. I'm just gonna barrage it. I'm sick of waiting. There we go. We now have Corfu. 
Let's uh do something like this. Very good. Let's do something like this. They can carpet siege that stuff down. We are going to have you return all your cores, him. As well as Corfu, apparently. Is there a conquest war? Oh, damn it. It's going to cost me Diplo then. We can do it. We can release a Byzantium. <clears throat> That's tempting. It is very tempting, actually. See if we could take, like... Couple forts here, something like this. Release Byzantium. Kind of want money from it as well, though. Let's see here. Byzantium would get a cores on all of this. I think we want them touched up. So let's say I want this one. Let's just go with something like this. We'll wait till the end of the month here. Mm. Actually, let's have you guys over there with our, um, he's not going to take his capital back, so I'm not worried about that. If we give him a couple more months of, um, war exhaustion, he'll probably be willing to do it. Especially because we're going to be getting ticking war score now. They haven't even landed men up there. That's so glorious. What are you guys going to do now? Hmm? Oh, yikes. Caesar is dead. That's fine. They're the same age. Um, actually, I kind of don't care if he dies. It's not as good. Zero mil points, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'll take it. Yeah, we lost our siege guy. Put you guys over there. Two siege pips. He gave up on Constantinople, which is hilarious. Once we take this, that's going to give us some extra war score. Plus, every month, we're getting more war score. So, this actually frees up even more land to take. And just like that, the Purple Phoenix. The Purple Phoenix is here. I'm just going to immediately march him. Because uh, they're really strong. Religious Defensive Admin. Um, mercenary Maintenance, National Tax Modifier, Discipline. This is fine. I'll make him a march. They're a good march. Very good. And then we can start annexing, um, what's his nuts? Albania. So he has cores on this for the next 40 years, so that's great. Uh, we don't have any diplomats to send, but we will start annexing him as soon as we can. Very good. 53, so three years. Let's have you guys do that. That was quite the war, huh? I bet some of you guys saw that I was tilted and immediately thought, oh, this one's over. Nay, I say. Let's go protect trade in Genoa. And let's have you guys get one more repair tick and then head down over to Luca. Let us cut off our mill access over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just finished. I just cut my, uh... Did not mean to do that. Yep, I ruined it. Feels bad, man. Cool. Byzantium, you will siege. Albania... You will siege. Bologna is scootaged. <laughs> Geneva will also get annexed as well. So we want to make sure that they time up so they're done on the same day. That way I don't have to worry about any annoying things with modifiers. So February of 53. It'll be done in July. So we have to wait a little bit. It's no problem. Let's get you guys over to Luca. Not bad. Not, not bad at all. I bet they're going to go bankrupt as soon as we finish our war, huh? Wait for it. Yep. Force limit. Follow me. Austrian conquest of Reims against France. Definitely not sure how I feel about that one. Oh, he's bankrupt. Yeah, sounds good. I want this land right here. And I'll be damned if I don't get it, man. getting raided still casual oh yeah, yeah now we're at war feels bad go this is fine it's a 
nice level three fort. Level three coastal fort. Sounds good to me. I'll actually separate piece this war if I need to. Because you'll see here from our mission, we need to take the Provence. So we need at least three more provinces in this area. So if we take these three, which is this entire state, we will then get free claims on all of this for the most of it, for the most part. And then once we take that, money of that, we will get some bonus bonuses to that. Gasking culture, which is all of this. And the Ile de France region. So that's great. Sounds good. Count me in. Getting my navy brought over. We're absolutely killing it on the trade. Where are you guys at? They still bankrupt? They're bankrupt. And they have more loans as well. So we're good. I'm not hurt. I'm not concerned. Get you guys up here. Avignon. So I will probably separate piece this war. Um, as far as trust goes, I'm not worried about trust with Austria, so we're good. Let's get you guys over here. Make sure I get as much war score as I possibly can. Our commandant is dead. Get another one. Sounds good. Get up there. That sounds good. Let's get you on there. This is fine. We can probably make this happen. We'll see. Our spy master is dead. That's fine. Let's go with a trade guy. We are very rich now. We can probably afford to have a... Uh, Let's go with the manpower. That sounds good. What are you guys gonna do, huh? With your bankrupt morale. Let's go with institution spread in true faith provinces. That'll help us embrace it a little bit quicker. Oh yeah, they got a lot of men. I think maybe I'm taking them a little lightly, but that's okay. Um, let's get you guys over here as well. And where is my navy at? I don't know why they're there, but let's pull you guys over here. Won the Siege of Leone. Let's get you guys over here. There we go. They're beating up on his pretender rebels, which is hilarious. I always think it's funny whenever the AI like kills AI rebels. It always makes me laugh. I don't know why you're coming in to attack me. Come over here and beat up on them. They have no admiral. See if we can catch him. The eighth and the sixth. Very good. Let's get our admiral over there. Should be a wipe, honestly. No, not quite. Definitely a whooping. There we go. Let's get this extra blockade here. Very good. Narbonnet is ours. Let's go to Laborde. Let's get you guys carpet siege down down here. Very good some reason they were able to flee in one day. Let's stack wipe you guys there. No stack wipe, sadly. Let's head up there. I think we can catch them. Josef von Habsburg. Let's have you guys stay there. There we go. We can take our piece here. I will probably actually see if I can get a little bit more out of this because he's already bankrupt, so we might as well just take some more money, right? There we go. Let's head up there, see what we can do here. I don't want him to peace out before I'm able to. I have to make sure I'm the first one to peace out of this one. So the AI has a tendency to not peace out until like at 100% war score. Or, or until the war has been going on for like decades, so... This is good. Hmm. Would I rather just take straight cash? Yeah, I think so. There we go. Let's pay off all our debt. We are now... Take the Provence. We get permanent claims on all of this. It's not bad. Uh, let's immediately core up all that. 
Let's get you guys over here. Is there grasslands? Mm. Ah, that's fine. Pull you guys over to Luca. Quarantine the province. And I think that's a great place to call the episode. Super good episode. I'm happy with it. I can lose some prestige for some mill. That's fine with me. We are almost done with our mill idea group. I'll probably finish it before we go up to upgrade our cannons. And, uh... Yeah, so... Hope you guys did enjoy. Show your support and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, whenever you subscribe, if you ding the bell, it will send you a notification every time I upload. So if you want to keep up to date with various campaigns going on on the channel, that is the best way to do it. Integration is a slow process. Albania is now mine. I forgot about this guy. 55. December 55. So we're going to annex that. We'll have free up two of our Diplo slots. If you guys want to check out what's going on over on the Discord or if you want to support us financially via our Patreon page, the links are in the description below for that one. Um, I think I'll keep these provinces because we might flip Orthodox. Um, I haven't decided entirely yet. But uh, yeah, with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot and I'll catch you guys later. On the left and right are a couple of playlists that you guys might like to check out. And a big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon for the month of June. Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Jaron Clampett, Wesley Grayson, Orbit Gaming, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Callus Cassowary, Blonde Damon, Matthew Balzarolo, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys.